I love The Lion King growing up. That was my favorite movie. And um, my aunt assigned us all characters in the movie. So, and she made me Simba, my cousin. <laughs> She, um, she always had like black nails and listened to like black metal and was, seemed to be to us a kind of more sinister energy one. Uh -huh. So my auntie made her scar. I just saw the newer one and I took my baby to see it and uh, I was crying and my baby was just looking at me like, why are you crying? <laughs> and I was like, I just love this movie and it's so cool that you get to see it. You know how I, you know how I saw it when I was little. I remember when I went to, I did the Oscars, I had a little bit where I had to run out on stage and tell everyone in the audience to get out. And I just remember going into my green room and seeing that outfit, I was like, it's crazy how it's spiritually connected to what that experience was on the movie and just how iconic it became, you know. People had started dressing up as me on Halloween. I saw several people running around. <laughs> in the get out costume. It's funny, my mom said people were coming up to the door dressed as me. It is always good to be able to say the title. Um, I remember when I said it, I was like, I hope this ends up in the trailer. <laughs> Short Term Tell was my first movie I booked. My first award show I went to, I think, was the Independent Spirit Awards. And um, I was nominated for Best Actor for Short Term 12. I was sitting at a table, and right a, a table right over from me was Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. And I was just like, damn. Okay, <laughs> I didn't expect to be here this quickly. It's crazy. Things for me started feeling different after Get Out, uh -huh. because I, you know, I became a meme, uh -huh. and um, oh, yeah, meme. It just everyone noticed who I was. Like if I walked outside, so that was different. You know, I was, was getting a little annoyed actually after a while, but <laughs> but not the lovely people, just the ones that you know interrupt you when you're trying to eat pizza. People who want to force you to say Get Out. We're here to talk about Judas and the Black Messiah. The director, Shocker King, came to me and said that he had a story uh, about Fred Hampton, uh, who was chairman of the Black Panther Party. I was excited at what I thought was going to be um, my chance to play Fred Hampton. And um, then he said, no, I want you to play um, William O'Neill, who's essentially Judas in the story. At first, I was very nervous about playing someone who was a traitor. I didn't know if I could connect to the character. Um, I struggled with that throughout the shoot. I actually learned how to hotwire a car doing this film, so there you go, you know, the more you know. In case this whole acting thing doesn't work out. You know what? <laughs> it might be Armageddon soon. My first kiss was on the playground, I think in uh, kindergarten, first grade. I just liked this girl and I thought, you know, if you like a girl, you go kiss her. Yeah. And so I ran up and kissed her on the cheek and then um, since we were on the playground, she was kind of sweaty, so I had a bad taste in my mouth and I threw up all over the playground. No. So I got my karma for running up kissing people. <laughs> she just kind of was like, kept walking. No, after that, I don't even know if I ever went to school again. <laughs>